Hey guys, this is Bee Man Dan with We Save Bees, and thank you so much for visiting. Uh, you're probably here because bees move into your house, and you're wondering, what the heck do we do now? I'm here to share with you five things to consider before you have anything done with your bees. Number one, bees can always be rescued. It doesn't matter what they're in, what they're on, how long they've been there, they can always be rescued. And anyone who tells you otherwise is full of poop. Number two, this is not a DIY project. I've been doing this for a while and even with my seasoned team, there's a lot of things that can go like haywire fast. There's a reason why our insurance classifies us under the category of working with animals that could kill you. That's all you kind of need to know about that. Number three, there's this misconception that bees are all Africanized. All feral bees are Africanized and they deserve to die. And that if you don't kill them, you're an irresponsible human being. I kid you, these aren't our words. This is, these are words from our clients that have told us what other people have told them. And they're like, is that true? Uh, so the truth is they're, they're hybridized. So we had this whole, you know, this whole craze of killer bees coming up from South America. And they met a bunch of our bees that we had up here already. Um, Italians and Russians and really docile genetics. And so they've just crossbred. Um, now you have pockets of not so happy bees and you have the vast majority of them are great to work with. Number four. So there's this belief system that Live bee removals are more expensive than extermination. Therefore, you should go with extermination. Hogwash. So a typical live bee removal, let's say inside of an irrigation box, you have bees moved to this box. And so the, your beekeeper has to come out, open that box up, remove the physical comb, transfer those, those bees and the, the honeycomb into another box. And then from there, they either take them home and take care of them, or they find a beekeeper or a farmer to take them in. Um, that's a lot of work. That's not just an hour or two hours. That's like three, four hours worth of work when you consider everything. And compare that to an exterminator, your budget exterminator, 150 bucks gonna come out and just spray. Spray and walk away. So that's not really an apples to apples comparison. It's not really an apples to oranges comparison. It's more of comparing a watermelon to a grape. Catch my drift? Number five, not all live bee removal companies are created equally. So there's this huge, huge media hype about saving the bees and all fun stuff, which is great. Um, but you have also a bunch of people jumping on the bandwagon and capitalizing on that. But most of these guys are just chasing money. People aren't willing to do what's right. They wanna do what's gonna make them a buck and that's not okay. Thanks for visiting. I hope you guys found that informative. Please like, comment, subscribe below, and um, have a beautiful day.